If you're watching this right now, then it might be too late. Bitcoin is on the verge right now as I'm recording this video of breaking upwards beyond that $42,000 range right now. You can see that we've been flirting with that $43,000 range, which is the highest price that we have seen since May 19th. A breakout above this area could finally lead us up to that 48 to possibly $50,000 range. In Ethereum, the update is now in full effect, guys. You can now track the burning of Ethereum coins on multiple different websites and you can see as they're being burned into different blocks, who's burning the most amount of Ethereum. You can track all of that now. This network update is very, very bullish for Ethereum long term. And we are expecting to possibly see $3,000 in the next few days. So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and jump into today's analysis. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Alrighty guys, so enough talking, let's dive right in. So on Monday, we gave you guys a couple different trade setups to use to make some profit. So that first trade setup that we gave you guys was the pullback entry. So that pullback entry was $38,000. Now, of course, it did get a little dicey here over those couple days. We went as low as 37 282. But even if you were taking just taking that trade every time it bounced back over 38,000, you would have been able to, to be to grab profits right on multiple occasions. Even if you got stopped out and kept playing that level, you would be in major profits right now. So that move from 38,000, let's say you bought there and you've held it this entire way up, you would have done about 13%, 14% profit. If using leverage like we do around that 10X area, that's around 130% profit on that move alone. Now, if you took profits on the way up like we did, then that's fine. Like we always say, we rather take profits than not take profits and have a winning trade turn into a losing trade. So we're constantly taking profits on the way up. If you entered a breakout above 42,000, which was that next level that we told you guys to enter, that's still a move of about 2.95%. Or if you use around 10x leverage, that, that would have been a, around 29, 30% profit on that move. Now, if you guys took the riskier 40K entry here that we also spoke about on Monday's video, that was about an 8% move up from its current entry up to its current price. So that would have been about around 80% profit if you guys use 10X. We're not done yet, guys. In Ethereum, if you took that $2,500 entry like we did and wrote it up like we have you're talking about 15 percent move if you're using 10x leverage that's about 150 percent profit on that trade so here are a couple of our current open trades as you guys can see here on this one right now we entered this is the, the one that we entered at 2500 we've taken some profits along the way and we're currently up $7,500 on this trade. And that's just unrealized. That's without what we've already taken off profit. We've taken about 75% of our position in profit. Today, we will tell you where we plan to re-enter with our full position in Ethereum over the weekend. That next trade is, of course, our Bitcoin trade here. As you guys can see, we entered at that 42,000 breakout. 
just like we told you guys to enter and we're currently up about a thousand dollars so we're up about eighty five hundred dollars just on the day in the last around 24 hours or so in unrealized profits without counting the profits that we've already taken here in ethereum all right guys if those profits don't get you excited i don't know what will if you guys have missed any of these trades from this week do not worry today we will give you guys some more trade setups that we will be looking for and taking over the weekend so right now bitcoin is flirting with forty three thousand dollars guys as you can see right there we're on the verge of this breakout so this breakout comes directly above this descending resistance that we have had since we hit the previous all-time high and it's we, it's rejected us once and we're at it again. It's rejected us down here already one time. And now we're on the verge of breaking out of that. Not only this resistance, but we're on the verge of breaking into this, this next range up here, right? We're going to break out of this Fibonacci resistance level that's also here. We're going to break out above this previous all time high at 42,000. So 42,000 is a very important level, which is why we've struggled here. There's just there's so many things there at that 42,000 level. But once we finally clear it, once we can close above this 42K level and get some volume to really push this candle up, really push this price up, guys, it's only a matter of time before we get into to the top of this range, I believe. Because like we showed you before, if you look at the volume interest right in these areas here look at this drop off in in volume right here right there's there's nothing there there's there's a gap of volume right there's not much activity in this range and that's kind of where we're going into right now so if we can get through this finish getting through this 42 area then guys we should see a pretty rapid climb up to that 45 to 48 range here this that's basically where there's, there's the volume picks up again right the the activity the buying and selling active activity picks up again at these at these levels so that would be the next the next top of the range where there's going to be a lot of buying and selling a lot of resistance but here we should we should see a push up into that range i don't see any reason why um if we can get some volume here today like we've we've been getting so far i don't see why we can't just gap right up to that 45 to forty-eight thousand dollar range and if we get there then we're most probably going to get up to that 50 range so don't be surprised if we a get a big candle like we previously did when we broke above 42 last time or, or right over here right and you know b we can we can definitely run up to that 48 area maybe we test the bottom here and then continue up you know possibly past that 50k back to that 52k area where we got rejected last time we it's it's been an area of rejection as you guys can see multiple times over so that's definitely a possibility something that's in the cards and you know if we get above 50 guys then it's only a matter of time before the hype just builds back up everybody gets excited again everyone that sold that panic sold right they start uh panic buying that's the thing with panic selling you end up panic buying and it just pushes the prices back up to possibly new new all-time highs so that's kind of what we're looking for here we're going to see what develops throughout the rest of the trading day and what develops over the weekend for those wondering about uh the wyckoff accumulation schematic i know it's been very popular since the drop here's an idea on that schematic where you know basically we've we've gotten through phase a b c and we're currently i believe in phase d right here as you guys can see and it's kind of played out perfectly right we had the spring we had the test and then we've gone straight up 
just like you know it shows in the schematic we had a last basically a last test of support here and and now this right here sos signs of strength you know so it's only a matter of time before we go into phase e which is basically rocket ships up to the moon right in ethereum we're seeing this green push up here towards that $3,000 area. So it's very in sync right now. It's very bullish. It's very in sync with Bitcoin's breakout as well as it's kind of approaching you know, a big area where it could potentially gap up here. We could definitely see 3000, maybe by the end of today, you know, if not, then for sure over this weekend, potentially by the time you watch this video, we might be at 3000 already as we're pushing up to that 2900 area right now. But if we pull this, the volume here and the, the activity that we've been watching, you know, you could see that same drop in volume activity here that buying and selling activity there's just a huge gap here so if we break out above three thousand dollars we believe we're going to reach the top of this range right here pretty quickly which is around that thirty five hundred dollar area that's why in our last video we spoke about ethereum heading to thirty five hundred dollars because it is a reality now especially with three thousand about to be broken here so we're going to be looking for that play above 3000 that breakout above there and then our target is going to be $3500 there. If we see any type of pullbacks here then that same level that we're going to be playing on pullbacks is going to be $2500. You'll see that's going to be the best level to be buying. There's, there's just so much uh it's held up so many times and we believe it's going to continue holding there's a lot of volume a lot of activity there in that range so that'll be the support that we're watching i don't think we get any pullbacks back down because that's a that's a basically a 400 dollar pullback at this point but that's what we're watching for now in the event that we do see any pullbacks over the weekend since there is lower volume but overall we're very bullish with the update with ethereum coins burning you know network fees are cheaper now ethereum 2.0 is coming we don't see any reason why ethereum cannot just take off here and potentially you know set new all-time highs very soon look at that guys just hit 2900 dollars so far we've covered the results of the trading week with the trade setups that we gave you guys for this week we did an analysis on both bitcoin and ethereum and now we're going to jump into some trade setups to make us all some profits because at the end of the day that's what we're all here for right so let's go ahead and dive right into that before we dive into those don't forget to smash the like button on the video guys it helps us a ton and it only takes you a second to do so if you're enjoying the video smash the like button if you guys are new to the channel subscribe turn on the post notification bell and if you have any questions drop it in the comments we're always happy to answer those questions so let's dive right into these trade setups so the first trade that we're going to be looking for here in bitcoin is above forty three thousand. so we're almost there right now now this is a riskier trade because there's there's a lot of consolidation right now volatility price is kind of bouncing up and down within around a thousand dollars um at this point so maybe the safer bet here is above forty three thousand. 422 which is the high of the day so let's just make it simple and and easy and even and set up orders above 43,500 for that breakout entry here the next breakout entry that we would be looking to take is above $45,000 it's a nice even number halfway to 50k halfway away from uh 40 so uh we'll be taking entries there we'll be risking around two percent on that one risking about uh one percent i believe on this one right here that 40 43 thousand dollar entry then on any pullbacks we're looking to enter back at forty two thousand dollars another around two percent risks there at forty thousand we'd be looking for a entry at that pullback as well that one goes down to one percent and then thirty eight thousand we're willing to do a entry there on a bounce back around two to three percent as well remember for bounce back entries we're looking for the price to go below the number and then bounce back above it our orders trigger once it bounces back above that number in ethereum guys you already know the next level we're watching for is three thousand dollars 
So that is where we have our orders set up above 3000 because we believe if we break above 3000, we could potentially see $3,500 and we want to ride that up, right? So we're willing to risk on that one around three to 4%. If there's any pullbacks, then the only level that we're looking to play here on a pullback for Ethereum is $2,500. So anything in between, we really have no interest in. It's just, it could go in either direction. So we're those are the two levels that we will be playing over the weekend in Ethereum. That wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like the video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here or if you haven't subscribed yet and turn on that notification bell. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, an amazing Friday, and you make amazing profits just like we did this week. So let's go ahead, dive into the weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. As always, guys, stay safe and peace and love.